Uh, hey, this is David with Haggerty on Redline Rebuild Updates. It's a little different today. We're in a pickup truck uh, with a trailer. And we are here at Copart to pick up our next project. So a little bit different, uh, but it's going to be interesting nonetheless. And uh, this is a first for me. So we got to figure out what we're supposed to do from here to get this car. All right. So before you laugh too hard, I'm being told that I need to appeal to a much younger audience, or at least a different audience, than our 50 Chevy pickup truck. So here I am. Yes, you can laugh, but we're going to figure out how to make this thing a little more fun than, well, it appears right now. The first part that's going to be really fun is we have no keys. I'm not sure who donates a vehicle to be sold at auction and then don't put the keys in it, but whatever. Uh, so challenge number one is the wheels are going the wrong way to just winch it up into the trailer. And uh, it's also supposed to run, but of course we're not going to know that because we can't start it. <sighs> the things you guys get me into. Um, <laughs> that is an ugly little car. So, uh, well, Hood's popped, so let's see how difficult. Yeah. Well, it's all there. So obviously this was this is about a 150 mile an hour car because it's went so fast that the right front taillight has or uh, headlight has actually sucked in to the intake. It's not pushed from the wind hitting it, it's the amount of air rushing into the intake from the turbo. Um, it looks like kind of this whole bumper section suffered the whole, the whole thing. By the way, that's that's gonna go. Uh, but it has a sexy hood scoop on it that the stickers must be holding together. <laughs> well, let's see what else we got. It, well, it's blistering fast because the paint's gone and literally like pulling off of it. Gee, yeah. Factory zip ties holding on the rocker cover. That's always good. Smells like a 80 year old air freshener. Uh, we're never gonna get in the back. Hmm. Got a Wendy's. A Wendy's bag. I'm sure that's fresh. What I'm more worried about is how we're gonna get it in the trailer. Cause well, we have no jack, we have no wheel dollies with no stuff. Well, I, I just need to figure out how to unlock the steering wheel. I've never done this before. <laughs> I have no idea how to get to it. I got all the nasty shrouding off, but I'm not seeing. I hope you didn't break it. Not so far. Not so far. <laughs> this is the tool I have. I have very little else, uh, I mean like literally, I don't even have a Phillips screwdriver. This is, might be the closest I've ever been to stealing a car, or feeling like I'm stealing a car. I can't tell where it's locked at. <laughs> With my one screwdriver here. Well, let's see what happens if I take this side off. You never know. I need a hammer. <laughs> I'm, I'm at the back end of the top. I could probably start it right now if I had to hold it. Yeah, I mean, I literally could start the car right now. If, if I could unlock, that would be funny as, as you know what. I mean, I'm turning, I'm turning what the key would turn. Well, now you know. You want to steal a Subaru? <laughs> no. Um, so that, yeah, that, that literally, that's off. This would be on. And, and there's the start function. There's something stuck behind this. 
I can get that tumbler out of there. That's what's holding it. We got her loose. I would not advise that at home. Uh, but desperate times for desperate measures. We are not trying to steal this. I'll repeat that. We are not stealing this car. We paid for it, but there's no key. I can't get the steering wheel straight to winch it into the trailer. How do you get the steering wheel unlocked? You beat the tumbler off the steering shaft. Luckily, we don't have any need for a key. So, with that, I can turn the wheel now. And we are in like Flynn. There we go. So, the two tools needed to load up a car with no key. See if it holds its own weight. Okay, so here's my rockauto.com tip of the day. If you're going to pick up a car that is an unknown, even if you're gonna put it on a trailer or drive it home, bring some tools, you'll thank yourself. All right, I gotta say it. That's not gonna go anywhere. This is going to be interesting. Well, nuts. It made it. It's even in the same spot. Oh. Who am I fooling? This will be fun. There we go. All right, well, I did mention earlier when we picked this up that it would be interesting to see that after I circumvented the key to unlock the steering wheel, if that little back pod, if I could just use a screwdriver to start it up, because um, I've never stolen a car before, but you know, I watched Fast and Furious in Gone in 60 Seconds and all those other great, I'm gonna steal your car movies. And uh, so why not? I gotta give it a try. First thing I know though, is I have no battery. And we'll give a shot with our jumper here. She's crusty. She's a crusty one. Got power? Probably the anti-theft. <laughs> you didn't throw it on. Man, we got all the lights around. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. That's interesting. Oh, it's because I got, eh, I bet you it's gonna work. I just don't have enough juice. Yeah, give me some more juice. Still won't do it, but should. Or, or, or stop it, at least it goes into the woods instead of over here. 
I figure I wait till you're kind of straightened out and make it a little easier on you when I already have to stop, you know what I mean? Try it. We'll just go around the, t the truck. To the left or right? Yeah, I don't <laughs> think I can make it to the right. Ready? Sure. Why not? We'll have to be a lot faster than this. All right, here goes first gear. Ready? Now, that's surprising how easy that started, to be honest with you. But hey, it runs. So I was right, the start is no good. And you can you can jump start these pretty easy with the key off the back. Alarmingly. Well, there we have it. Our project. Right. It runs. How quickly can you accelerate? Well, we could be like all the kids. Okay, well, that's going to wrap things up for today. I'm going to throw a starter in this so we, well, Ben and John are kind of tired of pushing it already. So we'll get a starter in it so we can maybe go have a little fun before we rip it apart. Get out in the shop, go get your work done. See ya.